Hello, I am Arthur. Work out shit. Welcome back to Gravity Rush 2 Raven DLC. Gotta collect memories. Alone in Hexaville. The memories here are the ones from when I left Sachaya behind and became Raven. And after you met the other shifter. You still need to remember. Find the rest of your memories. Later. Light and darkness fuel. Scrounging from trash, sleeping in the streets. I was so weak when she appeared to me. Z, she. How am I supposed to do this without them interfering exactly? Where is that raven? Or cat? I guess totally not wrong. When she learned how to ship gravity, I learned to survive. I left the child behind, became Raven. So I'm not exactly sure what they want you to do. Without them interfering, unless you can just straight up kill them. Because this is kind of a bullshit trophy. Because they're just on your ass 24 7. Voice calling me on this I sound so much like her. Alright, I'm gonna fucking look this up because I don't understand what they want you to do to do this when they're just like constantly on me. Every rush to trophies. Yeah. Dun 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 dun. There we go. This is gonna actually be any kind of damn hell. You need to collect eight memories while being attacked by. You can't kill them, but you can incapacitate them. To get this trophy, you'll need to incapacitate both of them and collect a memory. The best place to do this is at the start of the episode near the fountain. Spam your stasis attack and attack them when they're on the ground. Okay, dopey. Can't kill, but it can incapacitate. So I could just save and reload, or find that memory, then kill. Let's find this memory. Be worth checking here, eh? Ah, found it. Okay. Time to kill. Excuse me, light boy. Oh. 
Yeah, darkness is annoying. Impressive, but not enough to defeat me. He's back. You don't have, don't yet have the power to stop them. Raven does not have the power to defeat them, but doing enough damage will cause them to disappear, only for a limited time. However, they, when they are defeated, their energy will flow towards the closest memory. Ah, I see. Hey, darkness lady. Fuck off. She warped when I did that, didn't she? Of course she did. Recharge. Oh, good. All right, she's out. You think you defeated me? She's back. You need to find the power to stop them for good. Trophy it. Even when we first met. Yes! Felt like somehow I knew it. I remember everything. Remember now. Raven. <laughs> and now you have the power to you need to claim the elements of light and darkness. Emperor Creator, Rao! you won't get away with this. The world can't exist without light and darkness. We won't be so easy to control. A great and powerful Emperor creator, throwing in with humans, really. I'm disappointed in you. Emperor I haven't interfered, I have only guided. So Raven, hurry. We need their power to put everything back in place. Phoenix mode. Hold down the touchpad when Raven's Phoenix power is full to transform into Phoenix mode. They're blasting her thing too. Hell yeah. While in Phoenix mode, Raven will recover health and unleash devastating attack. Phoenix mode can be unlocked when Raven has met certain conditions. Her ability to enter Phoenix mode goes away over time, so use it whenever you have the chance. Oh hell yeah. Come here. Oh, you made the wrong decision coming down here. Going for him. Okay, I see that. Right. Now. Both of you in the picture. I really wish Gravity Rush had a lock on camera. He 
because the game is just all over the place. I just feel like the fucking controls just don't respond like they did in the first game. I've hit the L1 button like five times to get out of this uh, gravity. Move. Unshed tears. <laughs> you better make good use of that power. It's all we had. We can barely maintain our forms. And we still need what little we have left for another time. Of course. I assume that other time is the end of Gravity Rush 2. If I remember correctly, they're absent for most of the game, and this is why. It's working, but we're not out of this yet. This won't go unnoticed. They're coming. Oh goody. Memory eaters. Or dream eaters. Yeah. They're not letting the Ark go without a fight. The Ark is almost ready. The world is repairing itself, but it needs more time. I won't let anything happen to the Ark. Woo! Still playing the theme. Just give up, memory eaters. Oh, I don't know where that health came from, but thanks. Wow. Got health. Energy. Even this one you gotta put these assholes. Phoenix mode, please! Oh, thank you. Give me that. Back up. Ooh, excellent. Nope. Oh good, they're sending. Oh nope, save scum. Cause I have to do this, do something specific here too. Save 
come together. Gained your attention. Phoenix mode, fuck yeah. Did I do it? Where's your There we go. There we go. Yeah. I can lure it to a station. That's the trophy. I want to go down. Raven. Raven, you can't do this alone. Duh. But I'm the only one here, if I don't. Love you must Faye. lead that monster elsewhere. Lina. Your other half, the other shifter, you need to come together. Gossip. But she's frozen in time like all the others. Huh, gone. Never expect a straight answer from a creator. Draw the giant collector to cat. Ugh, that's so far. The giant collector cannot be defeated by, by you alone. Follow bits of ice and lure him to Cat and Dusty near the train station. The giant collector is trying to destroy the Ark, so keep up your attacks to keep it focused on Raven instead. While the collector is following Raven, guide him to Cat and Dusty in front of the downtown train station. If I don't do this, I'll just do it uh, between parts. Gotta move. Move, Raven. Keep attacking you. Thank you for that. I'm not gonna move. Oh shit, that's a lot. Get me attacking. I think I lost the trophy right there. Dealing with her damn powers, no. Really? Alright, I'm gonna reload it. Even though I said I wasn't gonna do that. Technically. I should attack it to charge up her power. And then fly away, attack, and then repeat. Because it says, don't let it get distracted. Let's try this again. Come on. He's also holding a cage. You ever notice that? Oh, he's actually holding all the memories. Because I saw him holding the airboat. Let's do it.
Alright, so I'm going to attack you to power up. I try to, but the fucking game's targeting is all over the goddamn place. That's why I need a lock on camera. Alright. Gonna find where the hell I'm supposed to go this way. Move forward. Attack. Oh, I got Phoenix mode going too. Sweet. I should get your attention. Come, boy. Attack. Fly. Attack. Fly. Attack. I'm gonna attack again so I can charge back up. I know. Can you do that? I think maybe. Move. Move again. Attack. Move. Come on, cat or dusty, whoever's gonna be it. did it? There, I brought that monster to the station where Cat is. They don't know when to stop. I'm afraid they know what you're up, what we're up to. They're moving to purge Cat from the world. What? You have to stop them. Harry, this could be our last chance to put the world back. Uh. Took out the small fry, but what about that monster? How am I supposed to take it down? Dusty. You? Lena. Yes. The other shifter's guardian can help. Together, you can be whole. Raven, as Lady Lay, Toa, Las Wese. Shall we? Now the Ark will return to where it belongs.
There's something left before the world can heal. What? The world is surprisingly delicate. It's like a complicated puzzle constructed from glass. I've searched the solution space, but there's only one answer. Two things that must vanish from time itself to fix the world. One is the bus that fell to the bottom of the world. If the children on that bus never fell, then they never would have needed the ark. You mean stop the accident? Save Zaza and the others from falling? See. Yes. That is a very important piece of the puzzle. But you are also an essential piece of the puzzle. And that leads me to the other thing that must vanish. Sachaya. You were never meant to be born into this world as Sachaya. As long as Sachaya exists, the accident cannot be undone. Raven, once Sachaya is gone, your past will go with her. I'm sorry, this is the only way. <laughs> if Sachaya never existed, if I forget Zaza, everything will be set, right? I, I don't want a world where Zaza and the others have to suffer. Are you ready to rewrite the past and put things back to the way they were meant to be? Love a blessing. Raven, Jazz Levidula, Zaza Tusei. Also, Raven, what's wrong? I can't put my finger on it, but look, you look sad. Sad? Yes, I was supposed. I suppose I was. Zaza, wait up! Sacha, you dropped Grandpa's flowers. It's your fault you run too fast. Zaza and Chaya. Those are nice names. Zaza was named after Grandpa. He's the one who gave me the name Sachaya. I don't remember Grandpa, but Zaza told me Sachaya was his imaginary friend. Stop bothering the poor woman. Come on. I was just saying. Thanks for picking up our, flower, our flowers up. Raven? You're acting strange, are you okay? Yeah, I think I am. Oh, that's the end of the DLC. Attica? Who the hell is Attica? Anyway, yeah, so they essentially just kind of retcon her past through the power of time travel. But that is why... Oh yeah, they're also re-showing the events too. That's right. Wait, are they? Is it just showing the retcon events? Or is it just showing the original events? Well, there's some spoilers to the main game, but whatever. Yeah, they they retconned her past. Kind of weird and confusing, but... 
I eliminate the problem with the kids. Yeah, her thing is amazing. But with this done, next in the timeline would be the animation that they did. That kind of explains why they're at the beginning of Grab Rush 2. So a little taste of Gravity Rush 2's features of the uh, Of like uh, the, the Phoenix, the Sphinx. Well, yeah, in Phoenix mode too. But yes, it's, it's kind of confusing. Mainly, well, when you have to pay attention when you get to it in Gravity Rush 2. But Cat and Raven's connection is really something that's confusing to me. And it's kind of something that needs a Gravity Rush 3 to probably go on about. Things. Oh yeah, they get to fucking work together in their special kit. But, oh, that's I'm gonna end this here. And we can, and then next time I play, we can finally move on to the main story, Cat's Fate. These games are great. Alright, thanks for watching. Check back later for Cat Story. Bye.